vlog. For those of you that are newbies here, and I've been noticing there are a few of you, I am Hayley, cut a long story short. I did a show on uh, UK television on Channel 4. I then set up this vlog where I do different cleaning things, and alas, Hayley's help was born. So welcome. Today, I thought it would be quite cool if I had a little chat with you guys, because I feel like we don't do this enough. We don't actually sit down and like connect, because I'm too busy like embedding my skull in a wall where I'm like slipping with a rubber glove, or like I'm knee deep in bleach where I'm like doing a bathroom clean. So I thought today I will take the time to sit down and speak to you all, my YouTube friends, and speak about things that I am loving. <laughs> right now! Packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things. These are all gonna be different bits and pieces. I've got loads of um, stuff that I am absolutely in love with at the moment, from cleaning stuff to shoes to everything in between. So, let's go with the first item. The first thing is this. These are um, personal power gens, and these are quite new. They've not been out that long, but I've been buying these a lot lately. I just find that they work really well within the washing machine. I do like washing powder as well. I tend to normally always go for Persil. Um, I don't know why, they just smell quite strong. It's quite a strong smelling um, washing powder. And I'll just show you guys quickly. They literally are just like little pieces of confetti. I mean, if you're having a super clean wedding and you've got loads of money to burn, you could actually take these along and be like, hurrah, nearly married. And so these are really good. These are also really nice to um, put a few within your vacuum as well. There's a hip for you. Put a few in your vacuum and it makes the vacuum smell nice. They literally are just, I suppose they're just compressed um, powder made into like tiny little balls, but that is what they look like. And I am absolutely loving these currently. So you're gonna see a lot of these coming up in my vlogs. Oh my God, look, it's going everywhere now. It looks like there's been an explosion at the confetti factory. Um, it's fine, I'll hoover it up. So they are the first thing that I am loving. The next thing that I am absolutely loving right now is the Zara sale. So Zara is like one of my favourite clothes shops, but I just feel like, I don't know about you guys, but I just feel like sometimes it's like you go in there and you're like, oh, that's a really nice top. I love it. And it's quite like basic for what it is. And then you look at the tag and you're like, it's like 80 pounds. And it's like, I'm not going to spend that on a top. It's too expensive. And like, but then you look at the material and I get it because it's like some sort of like fine alpaca silk from the Egyptian desert that's been dug up through, I don't know, some sort of golden saffron ground that's made it be that quality. But I don't care. I don't want to spend £80 for a top, especially when I've got three children that normally just like pick and pull at me. And then I've also used loads of bleach in my house. And then before you know it, you're like, oh, that's ruined. So... I like to get stuff when the sale is on because you can get so many nice things for so cheap. And with that said, these are something I picked up in the sale. I am quite a shoe um, collector. And these were, I think they were like 70 pounds originally. Now, I wouldn't pay 70 pounds for these. I'm just putting it out there. I love them, I love them, but I would not pay 70 pounds for them. However, in the sale, they were like £12. I will absolutely pay £12 for a shoe all day long, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So, uh, that is another thing that I am loving at the moment is the Zara sale. Like, put in the comments box below, guys, what stores are your favourite stores and where's the good to find really good sale stuff? Because I love hearing, like, where people find, like, really nice stuff, but for, like, 
fraction of the price. So comment below. This is another thing that I have recently purchased and it turns out I freaking love it. It's really, really good. So this is the Sif Lime Scale Remover. And I've actually, I don't know if I've been using this, how it's supposed to be used. I tend to not follow instructions very well. So I just kind of make up my own rules. <laughs> because I'm a rebel without a cause. So like, I will use this and I just kind of like frivolously spray it around the sink or like in my bath area. And it does say you just leave it on for a little while and then for a few seconds actually it says, and then clean and rinse. I mean, I leave it for like a whole day and then I'm like, oh, it's so shiny. And then I rinse it off. It doesn't say to do that, however it does say, for shinier results, wipe with a dry cloth and for extra tough, leave for a few minutes. Well I don't leave it for any of those time scales, but it hasn't done anything wrong to my sink, just to let you know. And um, it does actually do what it says on the tin, it comes up really, really shiny. So I have actually really been enjoying using this, it's very, very good. You do need to use gloves with it though. Um, and make sure it doesn't come into contact with your eyeball or your skin. While I have just discussed with you a few kind of cleaning bits that I found that I am loving at the moment, I just wanted to do a little moment to say, comment below and let me know all the stuff that you guys like currently. And it doesn't matter where you are, whether you're in Hawaii, whether you're in Australia, the USA, wherever you are based, Italy, Germany, wherever it is, um, leave in the comments box what goodies you have in your countries because I love, love reading them. Like, I'm one of these people, I find it so fascinating how there are so many different things and how, like, we all get a bit, I think we all get a bit like, oh, I wish I had that. So quite often I'll have people saying, oh, we don't get those in, in the States or we don't have those in our country. Um, and whereas I sit here and I look at everything in America, like I'm obsessed. I go on the Walmart site and I'm like, oh my God, what I would give right now to just morph in to the internet and be like, here I am in Walmart walking down the cleaning aisle. There is a billion gazillion different options here and I'm having a blast. <sighs> but I can't do that, so I don't have the magic nor the power and I'm certainly too big, so. Um, but I would love, I just love hearing things. I love hearing about what different cleaning stuff there is, what different clothing brands, um, just, different, what different fragrances even, like candles, I'm gonna be showing you a candle in a second, but like different fragrance candles as well, that like we might not be able to get here in the UK, but you guys have in the USA or Italy or wherever it may be that you are based. So leave comments below and let me know what your favorites are. The next thing that I am absolutely loving at the moment, although I've always loved these, it's a new scent that I haven't actually had before. It is the Ikea candles. Now, there's like an unwritten rule, I feel, that when you go to Ikea, like I went with my husband yesterday and he was like, don't do it, hey, don't do it. And I was like, do what? And he was like, don't, because you're gonna buy a load of candles, aren't you? And I was like, but we're in Ikea. And he's like, but we're not here for candles. And I'm like, tell that to the back of my head because I am putting these candles in the trolley. So I got these candles and this flavour is like a cinnamon type flavour. It's got a picture of a carrot cake on it and they're just like the grey ones. It smells so nice and if you want to kind of stock up on candles for Christmas, I have said this before, the smell of a cinnamon candle at Christmas time, oh my god, I'm not sorry. I might want to send this little elves here because your whole house, it just smells like Christmas. I can't even cope. Like, I will never ever not have my house smelling like cinnamon when it's Christmas time. I just can't do it. So that is the next thing I'm loving. If you want candles, I mean, go to Ikea. They're super cheap and also 
they've got cinnamon flavour. Moving swiftly on, I now have glasses. Not glasses for your face, glasses for your drink. I am quite a clumsy person, as we've all seen in my vlogs, in terms of like, I think I'm just always going 10 to the dozen, like, and just like, I don't know, like, you know, like that Speedy Gonzalez. Is that it? Who's the one that's like, me, 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 me? Like, is it Disney or is that Woody Woodpecker? One of them anyway, that like flutters around, or Tasmanian even. One of those, I'm like that, so I do get a lot of breakages in my house when it comes to glasses anyway. And with the hot weather, I've been outside in the garden a lot with the children and it's just like my worst nightmare for like a glass to smash on the concrete and then before you know it, like either I've embedded like a blade of glass in my foot or like one of the children have and I'm like, oh, because I don't do so great with blood. Um, and yeah, it's just my worst nightmare. I just can't bear it. So, to avoid that, I do have glass in my house still, but I got some of these. These are plastic. So, I've got these in a couple of different colours. I've the pink and blue, the ones I've got. And I just think they're super cute. Like, they're so handy if you want to have a drink. I've got different size ones as well. So, I've got like these, I've got beakers, so depending on what beverage you're having, then there's a glass for every occasion. And I also got the plastic shot glasses. Now, these, I haven't actually had any shots out of these, like none. I What I use them for is, um, they're like, I use them for dips, so if I'm gonna get your visual in a minute, just so you can see where I'm going with this. But like, say the children are having like nuggets or I don't know, fries or something and they want like ketchup or like mozzarella sticks or whatever it may be, then you can fill whatever dip you've got in there. So you could do like an olive oil and balsamic, a chili oil, whatever, whatever floats your boat and fill it up. And I just think this is a really cool way to keep the dip separate from the food. And again, it's just thinking outside the box. Like you don't have to buy one of these swish fancy dip holders where it accommodates like a million and one different flavours. Like just get yourself some plastic shot glasses and fill it. And then there you go. You've made yourself your very own little kind of dip pot or sauce pot sauce pot and I just love them I think they're super cute and they're, they're really handy the kids love these as well I find my children often actually and I might want to watch this because it may well be a problem <laughs> especially my middle son my middle son Diesel he will come down and if he's not like really really thirsty he'll get one of these and he fills it with like a bit of water and like chucks it back and I'm like dude just fill a glass but he doesn't he just likes the idea of using the miniature ones but um so I'm going to show you a visual as well of what it looks like when it's placed out nicely to use for dipping purposes now we have the Sephora I spotted this in store the other day this one is a limited edition and it's called Tropical Twist. This is what it looks like and I'm telling you the smell of this Sephora is insane, like insane. So my husband doesn't really ever notice much in terms of scents which is why he's a bit like oh why are we getting more candles because like he just doesn't appreciate the scents. He came in from work the other day and I had this brewing in the kitchen sink because I was wiping down all my surfaces and stuff with it. And he actually walked through the door and was like, something smells really nice in here. And I was like, it's my Sephora Tropical Twist, babe. So this is really good. I love this at the moment. It smells so nice. It's got pictures of pineapples and coconuts on it and it does not disappoint. It is like a pineapple and coconut explosion. They have literally collided together like Biffy Clyro. You know that song? When we collide, we come together. It's like that. And it's amazing. If you haven't got it already, try it. You will be 
really, really, really happy that you did. Right, I'm super sad now because I'm nearing the end of this vlog and when I tell you from a scale of one to a hundred how much this is filling me with life, it's up there with like 190. Like, I love this whole what's going on right now because like, it's giving me a chance to speak to you guys, it's giving me a chance to show you what different things there are. And this is the final item. But so that I don't feel like really 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 devo when this video ends please just keep commenting and we can just carry on the communication and you guys can just tell me everything that you've got in your houses and then it will make me feel fine <laughs> okay this is the next thing it is a lampshade so i've obviously moved into my new home and i'm in the process of doing various different bits and pieces and doing it up i haven't yet done um I've done the house tour, but I'm going to be doing like a room reveal, bit by bit, showing you different furniture that I've got in my room, what themes I've gone for, how I've decorated, and these are going to be a staple feature within the Haley's Help household. I love them. They're from Ikea, and they're only £9, they're just lampshades, and you basically, you make them yourself, they come flat like this but you turn them into what can only be described as like some sort of like flower hanging from your ceiling and they just fill me with happiness. I know they're not going to be everyone's cup of tea but I just feel like for me they give like a real uniqueness and I just love the fact that they, I just, I just love them. I just love them. I don't know. I just feel like there's something about them that I think visually just is so pretty and like quite calming as well and I think they look super modern. I got this particular lampshade for my bedroom so it's going to be part of the move with me vlogs that I'm doing and I'm going to be showing you that very very soon. Super excited. I've got loads of different bits and pieces and like I feel like when we all enter my bedroom you guys are going to be like girl <laughs> because it is like a Haley's health explosion in there it I really love my bedroom it's coming together so nicely and I just adore it I just adore it so yeah that's coming up in the next few vlogs I'm also going to be showing you around the children's rooms as well showing you what I've done in there what themes I've gone with, different things that I've made, different things that I've upcycled, different things that I've got. So that is all on its way. Thanks for watching my vlog guys. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button to see more content. And also if you haven't turned on the notifications, click them on so you don't miss any of the upcoming vlogs. Also, if you've liked this video, give it a like, and I'll see you all again next time, right here on Hayley's Help. Bye guys. Today, I'm gonna to be doing a challenge. The challenge is cooking a Sunday roast dinner without an oven. This could go horribly right or horribly wrong. I am going to be using a griddle and an air fryer. It has actually been really fun and it turns out, because I don't like touching raw chicken, so that's going to be fun. Oh, it's not turning out the right way. And now you can go and season it. Well, I'm not going to do that. Not being funny, if I hack my finger off, or for the sake of the challenge, I'm just really nervous. He ended up like severing his finger off. It's really bad. So this is what the chicken is currently saying. Not much. And it's looking like this challenge 
I might well just do it, you know.